My name is Jim Ford. I'm a professor here at Stanford of, of medical oncology and genetics. And I first uh, got involved with the Bee Foundation when I was a, a very junior faculty, just appointed to Stanford. This is over 10 years ago. Uh, and I received one of their early V Scholar Awards, it's called. So these are uh, uh, grants to early stage um, uh, cancer researchers to try to help develop their career uh, working in various cancers. So the last few years, about eight years, I've had the great fortune to be on on the V Foundation scientific board. So this is a group of uh, scientists and cancer researchers who have the opportunity now to review grants from other researchers and help the V Foundation decide what to fund. So I've got to uh, see a little bit inside the V Foundation and how they work and most importantly get to participate in funding incredibly exciting cutting edge cancer research that's absolutely making a difference. Uh, one of the great things about, about the V is, is their always looking for the, the new and the best and the brightest to fund and are funding great research that often isn't getting traction or funding from some of the more traditional sources. So today I also want to introduce uh, another recipient of V Foundation funds, Calvin Kuo, uh, who is a colleague of mine here at Stanford and who uh, works together with me closely on a number of projects and let him tell you a little bit about uh, the, the funding that, that he got from the V Foundation and how it's it really affected his career as well. Calvin, thanks. Thanks, Jim. Uh, so I uh, have just been very uh, incredibly grateful to the V Foundation for the support that uh, we received. Uh, I was funded back in 2001 when I was a uh, new assistant professor at Stanford. And I don't know if you've heard stories about how it is to set up a lab, but you show up and the room's empty and there's absolutely nothing going on. And so uh, having financial support to uh, to perform the experiments that you've been dreaming about doing is incredibly important. It's really enabling uh, the, the funding. It's uh, very difficult uh, these days more than any uh, for junior researchers to uh, receive uh, funding uh, from any source. And so uh, this is an incredible shot in the arm. And uh, knowing how much of an impact this made for me at this very early stage of my career, um, when I see the new uh, V Foundation recipients every year, I feel very happy that they will be able to receive the same kind of uh, energizing of their research efforts uh, through this incredibly generous uh, support as I did previously. Foundations have very much made up the difference for many of us in terms of being able to achieve and to continue the sort of projects that we want to do in this time of, of a lot of uncertainty. Beyond that, uh, they often fund things that are very high risk, things that s some of the more traditional uh, sources of funding just won't do because they're fairly conservative in, in how they fund. And so a really, really new, novel, high risk idea that might fail but might also be a home run is just the sort of thing that the V Foundation supports. So as an example of, uh, of our uh, appreciation for the V Foundation and, and how it's really affected both of us, uh, we want to uh, absolutely demonstrate uh, how the V has passed on uh, the V from one to the other and, and, and certainly helped our careers and, and our research. So uh, Calvin, the V uh, goes from me to you. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. Boy, this thing's heavy. <laughs> 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 so it takes two of us to hold it.